Hello viewers, today the aircraft we have chosen to review is the F-15 nickname Eagle. It was originally built by McDonnell Douglas Corporation but now the uh, this company is part of Boeing. It uh, is a significantly older aircraft but has been extensively upgraded and uh, when it was made it was top of the line aircraft and with the upgrades it's still in many cases top of the line aircraft in fourth generation fighters it is a twin engine all-weather tactical fighter designed by McDonnell Douglas uh, United States Air Force selected McDonnell Douglas design in 1969 to meet the service need for a dedicated air security fighter. The Eagle first flew in July 1972 and entered service in 1976. It is among the most, su most successful modern fighters with over 100 victories with no losses in aerial combat and the majority of the kills are by the Israeli Air Force. Yeah. Israeli Air Force has, uh, after American Air Force, the yeah. bigger inventory also. Uh, besides the Israeli Air Force, Japanese Self Defense Force and Royal Saudi Air Force also operate this kind of aircraft. Uh, it's uh, originally it was single seat. Uh, the A and C model are single seat, and B and D model are two-seater uh, trainer variants while the E variant which is a strike version also called strike eagle is also two-seat version the second uh, pilot is actually the weapons uh, systems officers that operate the weapons while the other uh, pilot focuses on flying the aircraft it was uh, envisioned as a pure air security aircraft. Uh, it is said that the dedicated uh, air security aircraft, first the dedicated air security aircraft after the F-86 Sabre that was used in the Korean War 1951 to 1953. In early Vietnam War, uh, that is about 1965, the US and US Air Force and Navy fought each other over uh, future uh, tactical aircraft. Not meaning uh, fighting literally, but uh, fighting on the concept of what will be the future uh, dedicated. As I said, it was the first dedicated US, United States Air Force air security fighter since the North American F-86 Sabre. North American was the company, actually. Criticism from fighter mafia that F-15 was too large to be dedicated dogfighter and too expensive to procure in large numbers led to the lightweight fighter program, which led to the United States. States Air Force General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon and the middleweight Navy McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet. Uh, so, uh, as it is said that uh, F-15 was, uh, was a bigger and more expensive aircraft. Uh, so, just to fill in the number in the United States Air Force, uh, eventually at the top of uh, their numbers there were 3000 f-16 in usf and about uh, now 1000 f-15 the f-22 was meant to replace the f-15 but sufficient numbers were not built therefore f-15 will continue uh, and through uh, to, uh, 2030s and uh, eagle version even beyond that as I said, there were many improvements uh, made. So uh, right now, A and B version are not uh, uh, 
available and improved to C and D version and uh, and E version is also being used. Of course, the Japan, Japanese self-defenses forces are making their own aircraft. It's called F-15J and the trainer version is DJ. In uh, 2007, 179 uh, USAF F-15 Su-C were retrofitted with uh, ANAPG-63 V-3 AISA radar. That was a significant upgrade. And uh, were planned to have a joint helmet mounted queuing system, IRST, and uh, other passive active warning survivability suits. It has a high thirst to, word, uh, thirst to weight ratio. Uh, that's that uh, the aircraft can turn without losing airspeed. The, the F-15 can climb up to 30,000 feet in around 60 seconds. F-15, the F-15 was shown to be capable of controlled flight while only one wing. After an Israeli F-15D suffered a mid-air collision that removed most of the starboard wing, the pilot quickly learned how to fly the aircraft and land it safely. Subsequent wind tunnel tests on a one-wing model confirmed that controllable flight was, was uh, possible uh, under certain uh, limitations. Uh, the Ionics are uh, as in any other fighter aircraft, the head-up display, the inertial guidance system, flight instruments, UHF communications, tactical air navigation, instrument landing system receivers, and it has an internally mounted tactical electronic warfare system, an electronic countermeasures suit, uh, the APG-63 and 70 first Doppler radar systems. The APG-63 has a basic range of 100 miles, that is 160 kilometers. For close-in dogfights, the radar automatically acquires enemy aircraft and this information is projected on the head-up display. The F-15's electronic warfare system provides both threat warning uh, through radar warning receiver and automatic countermeasures against selected threats. The Eagle can be armed with combination of four different air-to-air -air weapons, uh, that is Sparrow or Amram, Sidewinder. It has an internally an internal 20 mm M61 Vulcan Gatling in the right wing route. Uh, actually, at a point of history in the Vietnam War, initially F4 Phantom was without any gun in the design. Then Americans realized in Vietnam that uh, it's important to have a, a gun uh, on a fighter aircraft, although. Initially, they thought that uh, the era of gun is over and that it is not useful. It also has a low drag conformal fuel tanks uh, that were developed for the C and D models that can be attached to the sides of the engine air intakes under each wing and are designed to the same load factors and air speed limits as the basic aircraft. Each conformal tank can hold 750. US gallons, that is 2,840 liters of fuel. These conformal fuel tanks increase range and reduce the need for in-flight refueling. Uh, conformal fuel tanks have also been sold to Israel and Saudi Arabia. Then the F-15E Strike Eagle is a two-seat dual roll, air-to-air and deep introduction mission fighter aircraft. It has APG-70 radar and lantern pods to provide thermography. That means it can easily fly low level with that pod. The first kill by an F-15 was scored by Israeli Air Force Ace Moshe Melnik in 1979. 
during the IS raids against Palestinian Palestinian faction in Lebanon in 1979-1981. F-15A is reportedly down 13 Syrian MiG-21 and 2 Syrian MiG-25. Israeli F-15A and B participated as escorts in Operation Opera and A strike on the Iraqi nuclear reactor. In the 1982 Lebanon war, Israeli F-15 were credited with 41 Syrian aircraft destroyed. 23 MiG-21, 17 MiG-23, 1 aerospatial gazelle helicopter and during Operation Mole Cricket, Israeli F-15 and F-16 together shot down 82 Syrian fighters, MiG-21, MiG-23 and MiG-23Ms. Uh, on that, I can comment that uh, uh, downing uh, aircraft like MiG-23 is not uh, really uh, something because it's a totally ground attack aircraft. Although MiG-21 is an uh, interceptor aircraft, but still it's uh, 1950s technology and F-15 were quite uh, advanced uh, than them. So it was not quite a matching fighting. Although F-15 has a good record, but I haven't seen it, it in some matching uh, technology aircraft fights. For example, if you port F-15 against uh, Su-30 or the latest Su-35, then uh, we can say, uh, of course, pilot training also matters. But the technology of aircraft, if it's not the same generation, that then even pilot skill cannot matter in that. So there should be some uh, balance between uh, in this fight. Then we can say the aircraft is uh, superior. Uh, all, uh, anyways, it has uh, Israel was the only operator to use and develop the air to grind abilities of the air superiority F 15 variants. Uh, doing so because the fighter range was well beyond other combat aircraft in Israeli inventory in the 1980s. The first known use of F 15 for a strike mission was during Operation Wooden Leg on 1st October 1985 with 6 F-15Ds attacking PLO headquarters in Tunis with 1 GBU-15 guided bumper aircraft and 2 F-15Cs re-striking their ruins with 6 MK-82 unguided bombs each. It is talking about the strike uh, uh, um, mission of F-15 aircraft. This was one of the few times where superiority F-15s, A, B, C, D models were used in tactical strike missions. Israeli air superiority F-15 variants have since been extensively upgraded to carry wide range of air to ground armaments, including JDAM, GPS guided bombs and Popeye missiles. Royal Saudi F-15C pilots reportedly shot down two Iranian Air Force F-4E Phantoms in a skim Kimish on 5th June 1984. Then there was a unique thing uh, about that aircraft. The ASM-135 missile is, was designed to be a standoff anti-satellite weapon with F-15 acting as its first stage. From January 1984 to September 1986, two F-15As were used as launch perf platforms for the ASAT anti-satellite uh, standoff weapon. The F-15As were modified to carry one ASM-135 on central line station with extra equipment within a special central line file. Uh, file -in. The launch aircraft executed a Mach 1.22-3.8G climb at 65 degree to release the ASAT missile at an altitude of 38,100 feet. The third flight test involved a retired P-78-1 solar observatory satellite in a 555-kilometer orbit, which was destroyed by kinetic energy. The pilot, the USAF Major Wilbert D. Doe Pearson, became the only pilot to destroy satellite. The 
A SAT program involved five test launches. The program was officially terminated in 1958. Then during the Gulf War, uh, uh, I mean the first Gulf, uh, Gulf War uh, in August 1990 for Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm, uh, the F-15 accounted for 36 of the 39 air-to-air -air victories by U.S. Air Force against Iraqi forces. Iraq has confirmed the loss of 23 of its aircraft in air-to-air -air combat. F-15 strike E-Eagles were used in air-to-ground attacks mainly at night, hunting modified skirt missile launchers and artillery sites using the Lantern system. According to USAF, its F-16C had 34 confirmed kills of Iraqi aircraft during the 1991 Gulf War, most of them by missile fire, 5 MiG-29s, 2 MiG-25, 8 MiG-23, 2 MiG-21, 2 Su-45, 4 Su-22, 1 Su-7, 6 Mirage F-1, 1 IL-76 cargo aircraft, 1 Pilatus PC-9 trainer, and two MI-8 helicopters. So air security was achieved within the first three days of the conflict. Again, here the MiG-21, MiG-23, uh, and this aircraft, the bomber version, Su-25, Su-22, Su-7, they, in most cases, they even don't carry an air-to-air -air missile. So they are very easy target for an air security aircraft. Uh, while MiG-29 uh, is a uh, formidable uh, opponent, it's totally an air defense fighter and MiG-25 and MiG-21. In this case, MiG-29 and MiG-25 were uh, good opponents. But uh, in war, uh, the overall strategy matters. Uh, but uh, killing these other aircraft was uh, quite easy uh, for a pilot in air-to-air -air combat. Then two F-15Es were lost to ground fire and another was damaged on the ground by a skirt strike on King Abdulaziz Air Force, King Abdulaziz Air Base. On 11 November 1990, a Royal Saudi Air Force pilot defected to Sudan with an F-15C fighter during Operation Desert Shield. Saudi Arabia paid $40 million for return of aircraft three months later. Royal Saudi Air Force F-15 shot down two Iraqi Mirage F-1 during Operation Desert Storm. One Saudi Arabian F-15C was lost to crash during the Persian Gulf War in 1991. In a friendly fire incident, in 1994, two U.S. Army U.S. 60 Black Hawks were mistakenly downed by USAF F-15Cs in northern Iraq in a friendly fire incident. F-15C shot down four MiG-29s using AIM-120 AMRAAM and AIM-7, that is Faro, radar guided missile, during NATO's 1999 intervention in Kosovo. Though, as uh, we have discussed, the F-15 has a combined air-to-air -air combat record of one. 04, 104 kills to no losses uh, till date and over half of the F-15 kills have been achieved by Israeli Air Force pilots. On 16 September 2009, the last F-15A was retired, marking the end of service for F-15A and B models in the United States. In Yemen civil war, it has been extensively used by the Saudis, the Royal Saudi Air Force, and Houthis have used the modified R-27T missiles that are air-to-air -air missiles and modified as surface-to-air missiles. So they have claimed uh, in uh, many instances to uh, take down Saudi F-15s, but most of them were denied by the Royal Saudi Air Force. While Saudi F-15 has also used uh, for with sidewinder missiles, so for shooting down drones, 
like uh, two Samad 3 UAVs and uh, Gassif UK uh, on th 30th March 2021 a video made by Saudi border guards showed an Saudi F-15 shooting an Houthi Kusaf 2K drone with MRAM fired at short range. So that was the Yemen conflict. Now about the general characteristics, I don't uh, discuss them in the start because they are generally in last 50 to 60 years, the fighter aircraft that have been made have about similar uh, airframe characteristics and speeds uh, because uh, the development have really been on uh, other things uh, like in engine thrust vectoring in engine uh, to improve uh, maneuverability uh, otherwise uh, it's uh, the speed has been between mach 2 to 2.5 of most of the aircraft and also some uh, these other characteristics size such, such as service ceiling so it uh, this aircraft has uh, 60 its length is 63 feet 9 inches wingspan 42 feet 10 inches height 18 feet 6 inches wing area 608 square feet empty weight 12701 kg gross weight 20185 kg max takeoff weight 30844 kg fuel capacity internal 6103 kg Two Pratt and Whitney F100 PW220 after burning turbo turbo fans. Maximum speed Mach 2.5 at high altitude and Mach 1.2 at sea level. Combat range for interdiction mission 1,965 km. Ferry range with conformal fuel tanks and three external fuel tanks 5,600 km. Service ceiling 65,000 feet. Thirst to weight ratio 1.07, uh, 1.26 with loaded weight and 50,000, 50% 50 internal fuel. It is uh, gun as I have already explained is 20 uh, mm M61A1 Vulcan. It has uh, 940 rounds, total nine hard points. It can carry uh, an array of uh, all the about all the air to air weapons and air to ground weapons that are in US inventory also due to multi rack system now uh, even more weapons can be uh, so the hard point is not uh, really uh, it has nine hard points hard point is not uh, really a big limitation these days uh, what matters is uh, how much uh, engine uh, thrust uh, can be made available and a multi rack system can also be used. Then we have all already uh, discussed the avionics. Uh, so that was uh, all for today. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comments. And uh, uh, please remember to uh, like, share, and uh, uh, the video. Uh, I will be back with another uh, interesting video. Take care for now. Bye.